The first Lego League is a learning experience that brings young students all over the world to participate in robotics and coding. It guides them through STEAM learning and exploration at an early age. Students will understand the basics of STEAM and apply their skills in an exciting competition while building habits of learning, confidence and teamwork skills along the way. Students all over Nigeria come together in the spirit of competition to solve real life problems. Each year, the team for the tournament is released and students research, find solutions and share with an expert. FLL stands for First Lego League. It has to do with giving children the opportunity, especially students in secondary school, on robotics, how it feels to program, to code. Talking about what I've learned from this program, I've actually become a little programmer on my own. Not just that, I've also been able to solve one of the world's biggest problems. It's actually a very interesting program because this FML actually helps students to decide, mostly teenagers, to decide or to choose what they want to be in the future. And again, this program actually helps the ones who are interested but does not have an opportunity to participate. This is actually the right place for us to be active and we also have fun at the same time. In our project for this year's composition world, project this year was called Cargo Express. We built, we have a cargo transporter which runs through a cargo tunnel. We built something that moves very fast. This Lego 2021-2022, right from welcoming the students, this competition has also availed our students, even those that did not take part in the competition, the opportunity to learn about coding, robotics, and working as a team. It was not easy preparing for them, but eventually when the competition started, it went very well. We're happy to have students from all the schools in the South come to Bini. And uh, it helps in integration. Students from different places, different culture, missing together and learning, interacting and learning together. It was a wonderful experience and for us to host this large uh, number of students, I want to sincerely thank the Federal Ministry of Education, especially uh, Technical and uh, Science uh, Education Department and the Corderina for bringing this project, this to Bini City, Edo State. I really want to appreciate God first and I appreciate the Codrina Group and the Federal Ministry of Education for this privilege. Sincerely, as a coach, I've benefited a lot. Last year when we came, I just came as an observer. But after the training today, I can stand to say that I'm a better, a better programmer. I read computer science all through my school years. We didn't come across this type of thing. So I'm really, really happy that today I've upgraded in my coding knowledge. And I equally want to thank God for these kids that are really coming up. What they know today, I think they are better than uh, some of us that read computer science. So kudos to Federal Minister of Education, Codrina, and our principals who are very supportive. FLL helps them. It helps them to develop their coding skills. And uh, with developed skills in coding, it can help them in their future academic pursuits. Well, since yesterday, the children have had a lot of fun and uh, there was competition, but healthy competition, yes. They were all happy to participate. Nobody is going home as a loser. They are all, they are all winners. There, there was teamwork between schools. You see one school go to, going to the, another school to ask them to check how they did their own coding. So that particularly captured my mind. And during the robot game, it was amazing, honestly. And I learned a lot of things, like the coding aspect of the event. I learned a lot of coding skills from other schools I went to. And I'm thanking God that by next year, we are going to do well and do more. The robotics were able to obey the codes, and they were able to carry out 
uh, missions. You know, before now, we see these things in televisions, but thank God today it is in our corridor and we are beneficiaries of it. So we thank God for everything. Kudos to everyone who has made this to be possible. Thank you. Throughout our team's journey, trying to program the robots, coding, getting the right position for the ro robot to move, if not, it won't accomplish any of the missions. Watching other schools do their own missions, seeing their coding, like coding skills, because we really ran to an issue and someone from that school had to help us and the way he coded, he coded differently from us, so it was like, we're like, wow, so we can actually do this, we can actually do that. So going back to get more skills and do better next year. The theme for the first Lego League this year is Cargo Connect. And Cargo Connect seeks to get youths to understand all that it takes to get products and services from the manufacturer to the consumer. So you will see them doing stuff about road transportation, sea transportation, air transportation, rail transportation, helicopter airdrops, as well as, you know, something to depict um, a drone dropping an item at the doorstep, rather, of a consumer. So those are the things that we are teaching these kids and that's what they have done today. As always, you can see the excitement, you can see the joy, the fun that the kids have had today in the last two days of this competition. And we'll repeat this, this is the south, southern region of Nigeria competition, we'll repeat this for the northern region and go on to the national championships which we'll be holding between the 4th and the 6th of March in Abuja.